you. And uh, thank you to your organization, the ECC. And uh, a, I remember first day, um, just some weeks after the signing of the Abraham Accords in the European Parliament, our delegation, the one I'm chairing, which is the delegation of relations with Israel, I had the honor to have the ambassadors from uh, Bahrain, from uh, United Arab Emirates and Israel together for the very first time. At that time, it was news. Today, fortunately, it's business as usual. Things are happening. The change is going on. Economics is working where politics didn't. And I think that the story, we have heard it once before. Because the Abraham Accords might be like the European Union, a dream, what started as a dream, and now we see the practical consequences. People from uh, Spain, Italy, Germany, Finland, sitting together, how we have become used to it. Huh? Do I have to remember everybody that 80 years ago that was not the case? That we had been killing each other for centuries? It took centuries to bring us to a table together? So let me be optimist. I'm not a dreamer. It's maybe my American part. I'm very pragmatical. I think that the Abraham Accords are going to last. It's not the easy path. If it was the easy path, there would not be any leadership. And the people who constructed the Abraham Accords were exercising leadership. And people, we don't have leadership huh? around too much. I have been honored to know in Tel Aviv, and especially in Abu Dhabi, this kind of leadership. I pay today tribute to two persons that I have to tell publicly had an influence in what I now live. It's, they have worked for the region. One is the actual now president of the United Arab Emirates, His Excellency the Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, a source of inspiration for many, and also to Dr. Anwar Gargas. The United States, fundamental role, both past president and actual president. As Europeans, still we are not there. Still we have to be more ambitious. Still we are not in the picture. Source of some surprise, these three years, the lack of enthusiasm that I find in some European institutions. And I hope that this will change soon, or we will lose history, as it is happening now. So, as Europeans, we have to make the reflection, act quickly, and be part of this. Together with Americans, with Israelis, with Emiratis, and as was mentioned in some uh, speeches before me, with other future countries that will adhere. My European friends, remember, the European dream started with Germany and France, opening a little passageway for coal and steel. So, so many countries, huh, are we now proud members of this European Union years after? And we live in our little bubble of liberty and democracy. We are now fighting, and we have the common fight, all that we are sitting here today, to defend huh, our bubble. And I congratulate to the people that created and are constructing this Abraham Accords. I think this is not good only for them, it's good for the region, and it's good for us Europeans and for everybody. Thank you, and good night.